Hi, I'm Brian Dolan with another edition of the Week in Review. An individual was found dead in a burning RV at the T Lazy W RV Park on the north side of Highway 34 between Shadow Mountain and Granby Reservoirs Wednesday. Grand Lake Fire and Grand County EMS were called to the fire scene where they discovered the body in the blaze. The RV park is only open in the summer and the Grand County Sheriff's Office and County Coroner are investigating the incident. The race for political seats throughout the county is heating up. Incumbent County Commissioner Nancy Stewart fell short of the 30% vote threshold to get her name on the ballot during the March 11th Grand County Republican Assembly. Over 70% of the constituents were in favor of challenger Merritt Linke for Stewart's District 2 seat. Stewart said on Monday she plans to petition to get her name on the Republican primary ballot. And in the District 1 commissioner race, Chaz McConnell, the Republican challenger to incumbent James Newberry, was voted onto the primary ballot without opposition. The county commissioner elections will be held in November. The Granby Liquor Licensing Authority has handed down a sentence to the Marketplace Liquors near City Market for selling alcohol to an underage customer during a compliance sting in December. It was the Marketplace Liquors second violation in one year. Because of the violation, the authority is requiring the store to be closed for 10 days and 10 days abeyance if there are no more violations within the year. Marketplace Liquors has stepped up its internal training, according to spokesman Adam Stapen. Winter Park's town council agreed to contribute money to a CDOT study related to avalanche control on Bertha Pass. The cost of the study is about $12,000, but the actual cost to the town will be proportional to the number of participants, according to town manager Drew Nelson. The study will include different avalanche control options, including the GASIC system, a remote control system that uses gas explosive canisters stored in avalanche prone zones. The system uses remote detonation devices and are utilized in several areas throughout the country. CDOT will be testing the GASIC system on Independence Pass in May while the road is still closed. The Indian Peaks Charter School application for a $6 million construction grant from the state has been endorsed by the East Grand School Board. The board overturned its initial ruling last week with a vote of 4-2. to two. Board member Barbara Aaron stated that she may not agree with the decision but believes it should be put to a vote and signed off on the deal. Chip Bessie voted against the letter of support stating it just doesn't make sense. We just closed the school in Grand Lake. And another school news, the calendar for the 2012-2013 school year has been approved. East Grand Schools will start after Labor Day, and the biggest change will be a shortened Thanksgiving holiday. For more information on what's happening in Grand County, stay tuned to TV18. We bring you the latest news, entertainment, weather and conditions, as well as what to do and where to eat. For TV18, I'm Brian Dolan, and I'll see you next time on the Week in Review. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.